I've got this bumper almost ready to paint. Let's take a look back at the process it took to get to this point. So I blocked it with 220 and then went over it by hand with 400 wet. That let me smooth everything out, round everything together. And some of the primer that was sanded off probably dried on this bumper. So what we want to do is scuff this whole thing now. We're going to scuff it with some sanding paste and red scotch Brite, and then we're going to wash it off real good. So the backside I already put pour 15 on a couple weeks ago. Probably had this several years now. As long as you keep the top on, it'll stay good. We're gonna scuff over everything to get it good and clean. We're gonna get our edges good. Anything that's getting paint, we wanna scuff right now. Now I want to make sure I don't let this dry on there. So as I go along, I'll either rinse it off or I'll probably just keep it wet. And the last thing I do is a little soap and water bath inside and out just to get it super clean. So the tape is stick to the back side, everything's good to go. up some sealer for this bumper in here. Now sealer is not a necessity. I could just start basing this thing out, painting the bumper without using sealer, but sealer adds durability. So with this being a front bumper, it's going to be down there low, close to the road. I'm going to do everything I can to make it resist rock chips and the like. It's still going to get them. If you drive it, it's going to happen, but without sealer, it'll chip much easier. So I know this from experience. I painted at a body shop one time 
after a painter had left there that didn't believe in sealer. He said sealer was a substitute for poor prep work, didn't believe in it, thought it slowed him down, but he had his prepper sand the panels, then he went straight to base coat, got it covered up, cleared it. Almost every week we had a car or two come back with rock chips in a new panels. They would put a new hood on the car, wouldn't get sealed, but it'd get painted and cleared, and then it would have rock chips. So it chipped it fairly easily. And the common theme among all these panels that we redid was no sealer. So remember, sealer adds adhesion, strength, durability to the overall paint job. It's a good idea. So I've gotten this far with painting this bumper. I've gotten all the way up to the point where I'm putting the base coat on there. I found a pinhole, found a flaw. I'm always looking for flaws until I clear it, even after I clear it. But until you put that final coat of clear on, you still have the option of fixing the problems you find. So I've got a pinhole here. I'm gonna take a little bit of combi putty, fill that in, let it dry and then sand it off and keep going with the base coat. So you just saw me fix a couple pinholes in the booth. Ideally, you want everything to be fine and perfect with that bumper or whatever you're painting before it gets into the booth. However, that's not always the case. You're always looking for flaws and a lot of times you'll find them. So remember, you can anything you can do out here on the floor, you can do in the booth. Now you've got to control your dust and things like that if you do much sanding, but minor imperfections, pinholes, scratches, chips that didn't get fixed, anything. Try to fix them before you put the final base coat layer on there and clear whatever it is you're painting. <laughs> Thank you.